Nothing's entirely wrong Kick the hole in the game Before multiple views By time be gone Gotta be strong When you're popping The paparazzi form Sliders singing In your local precinct Like a you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said how I got my guy with me. Showtime, SP, to nobody that knows bodies. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we are in the building. Fresh bag from Philadelphia. Glock shoot more haters. Drop your location. Mm -hmm. uh, the trenches, gutter city. Uh, ru ruin your day, rap great, everybody, salute to everybody who put this event together. Uh, some dope battles on the card. Uh, it went down, the whole card, it was a lot of questions, it was a lot of answers. Shout out to Showtime SP in the building. Shout out to everybody who saw us, encountered us, spoke to us, took pictures, showed love. Thanks. Even if it was just a couple words saying, you know, we, we rock with what you do, etc., etc. Because um, I will say this, um, we've been doing like a lot of these. You know what I'm saying? Pay-per-view, 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 and salute to all of the leagues. Like I said on the stream, I wanted to give, I showed love to Rosenberg Raw and ARP. Rosenberg Raw was the first one to invite us to do some pay-per-view commentary. ARP provided the platform, and boom, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually glad this is the last pay-per-view of 2023. Don't call me. I'm not. I don't got no... Don't call me with nothing on New Year's. Don't call me with nothing. Well, it depends. But I'm just saying, well, it depends on how much you're paying. What's up, man? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, man. I, I, I enjoyed myself um, very much, man. I feel like this was a this was a crazy year for us, uh, for it to elevate the way that it is. So yeah, salute to ARP, salute to Rosenberg Raw for putting us in this position. Um, salute to all of the other leagues that let us get down and uh, actually do this commentary thing. Mm -hmm. um, and salute to all of the fans that is actually showing a lot of love and a lot of positivity towards us doing the commentary. Need I say it? But they do say if we ain't if we ain't there commentating, you might as well just play some videos. That's what they said. That's what they said. But I agree with it, man. But salute uh, y'all. Yeah. How you feeling yeah, about that? I mean, event? that's cool. But sometimes I be wanting to watch the events at home rather than fucking like being in all of these joints. I'm not gonna lie. Um, here's the difference. I'll tell you this. Like, and this is from my personal experience. Like, being there is cool, but I miss you miss so much when you're there. Like, being there is an aesthetic. I see when people be bragging about, oh, we outside, we outside, we outside. Listen, that shit don't mean nothing. I actually hear the bars and see the battles better when I'm at home. You know what I'm saying? That's fact. That's number one. That's Seeing, hearing, knowing definitive winners and bars is better done at home. Because mm -hmm. when you're there, you're in the elements, it's smoke, it's 100 people in front of you, you gotta listen to. But I see Uncle Ra have to stand on fucking chairs to get content yeah. because you can't even see or hear a lot of the battles, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But uh, what I will say, uh, I got there a little after the uh, Top Bulls and the Trenches guys competed, you know what I'm saying? And I, it was like right after Jay Moore and Bonus. I heard Jay, I heard some of it. But I was just getting in the building. Mm -hmm. uh, so then they had Zan versus Classical Rizzy, Kaboom versus Riggs, Enes versus Clone, Bill Connector versus uh, Bad News, and Easy to Block Captain versus John John. I will say this though, before we even get started, you know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna we're gonna talk about everything, you know what I'm saying? That's the best way to do it. You break down every round that I've sketched about mm -hmm. about the whole event. Um, I was gonna say that. Shout out to Gutter City and the Trenches first and foremost for being able to put together events that are comparable to other big leagues. For being able to step up in like one of his first years of inception and have events that are comparable to other big leagues. You deal with some of the headaches, the ups and downs, whether it be battlers canceling on you at the last minute, no shows, whatever the case may be, providing a dope stream, being able to get people to buy it, dealing with bootlegs. You gotta deal with a lot of shit as a league owner, you know what I'm saying? So for easy to be able to do all of that and then battle on the same card was definitely a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, the Mike P versus Loso battle didn't happen. Mike P probably was like, I ain't writing no raps. I want 150,000. I really don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking. But uh, what's up, man? Tell you where you want to start. We can go, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, going back where where you were saying, yeah, uh, Mike P versus Loso would have been definitely dope in that build, and I think yeah, that was truly missed. Mm -hmm. But needless to say, of the other battles that uh, the other battles that did go down, they did step up to the plate and kind of filled in that little bit of a void. We did walk in on Jay Moore versus Bonus. Mm -hmm. I rewatched it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we missed a goodie, bro. We we missed a goodie, and shout out to both of them. They definitely was cooking. I was hearing that that might have been also battle of the night contender too. But I saw it. I, I, I can see why. If I got to lean towards anybody, I'm going to say Jay Moore, but I know you didn't see it. But yeah, we'll uh, get that through. But when we came in, it was Zan and Cashflow Rizzy. Yep. Zan was cooking. 
Mm-hmm. Cash Flow Rizzy was also cooking. Now, this is where uh, 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 one of my uh, issues that I had to agree with you just like that, too. When you're in the building, you hear certain things. And then when you hear it on the stream, it's a totally different thing. And it's better on that way. Because some things that I was trying to hear from Cash Flow Rizzy, I didn't hear until I actually did the playback. I had Zan clearly winning in the building this time around. I could give Cash Flow Rizzy the second round. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe the, the battle after that, though. We, that's when we started to get, you know, that's when we started to get cooking. The live stream was rolling. Mm-hmm. We was crispy. Ooh, shout out to uh, 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 Avocado and Ruin Your Day. That we was looking. That, that was about the. It was a uh, Kaboom versus Riggs. That set the uh, that set the tone for the rest of the night. Yeah, Kaboom versus Riggs, man. I kind of knew that Riggs was gonna be Kaboom anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like Kaboom is like, like I said previously. Kaboom is a rapper. You know what I'm saying? He rap. He got bars. He been doing this shit for a while. But Riggs is like top floor dope right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's dope right now. Like, it's a difference between being, like, just uh, just being somebody who's nice all the time and somebody who's dope right now. Riggs is one of them cats that's been in his bag, you know what I'm saying? He's been doing his thing, and he deserves all of the admiration, props, and credit that he's been getting for, you know what I'm saying, the moves that he's been making in his career, you know what I'm yeah, saying? He was cooking, and we appreciate that. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? We definitely want to take, take that one on Man, the listen, man. Riggs had one of the best performances <laughs> of the night, you know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely like the bars that he came with, you know what I'm saying, and um, what he was able to do, you know what I'm saying, like to be someone that's been around for a minute and to transition well, this is like one of his second or third appearances in the trenches, you know what I'm saying, so much love to him and everything that he's got going on in his career, I was glad that he got to come, sit down and talk about, yeah. you know what I'm saying, some of the things that he did, but man, I like, I'm going to tell you, man, <sighs> now that I think back to some of the trenches last night, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like, I, was there any bathrooms in there? I think it was like some porta potties in there. Porta, so I didn't. Got that's it. not gonna work. like no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. I'm not doing. That. I know we was in the trenches, but niggas was rather go outside and go use the bathroom outside than to use a damn porta. That's not it. That is not it. Though? The food was actually food good. Was good. But you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I I said that shit earlier. I was like a porta. I was like nigga. I ain't using no month. I could yeah. not. So um, that's in the future. Yeah. We 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 don't. We don't want to be that trench. Yeah, you know nah. It's <laughs> we good to be trenched. trenched, but a nigga don't want to be that trench to where you might have to piss at the side of the building yeah. and shit. So please, in the future, yo, shout out to y'all niggas. So for me, this is like a Rucker Park game. You know what I'm saying? So for I know there's going to be a lot of people that's always concerned. They be pocket watching. They make this. They make that. They get on this bread. We did this for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like every now and then, you got to go to the gutter and you got to play in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Kobe Bryant did it. Uh, Kevin Durant did it. All Star. You go play in the trenches for, for nothing. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You just do it for the love. So that was for the love. So you won't feel like there's any in cognitive bias towards anyone because coming into this car I said whoever wins it's whoever wins see first of all this whole day started crazy John John drops audio of easy to block captain you know what I'm saying involved in this situation that most people already knew kind of already knew fucking happened anyway you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. it was way too many stories way too much shit going on and you know John John drops the shit and that kind of like started the whole day so listen listen I don't know if you see I don't know if you understand I'm gonna explain mm-hmm. Them niggas don't care. They trying to make money. They trying to sell a product. So once that shit, like, Easy seems to me like the type of nigga that once that shit got dropped, mm. he was happy. Like, he yeah. probably, see, the thing is, like, sometimes when you're doing some shit you're not supposed to be doing, for some people, when they get caught or when the shit, it's more of a relief for them. Like, I'm sure he was happy that shit came out. Mm. He making money. At the end of his battle, the last two words he said was, I'm rich before the pay-per-view stream pan back over. Yeah, so listen, I don't think he gives a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, there'd be a line drawn in the sand. There'd be people who didn't like him and didn't fuck with him anyway. You know, all the URL artists and the people that's on that side, they're going to feel one way. And you got the other side that whether it be his fans, whether it be E-Hive or E-Block, whatever they call themselves, they're going to feel that way. And then there's going to be the people that's in the middle that's just there to watch battles and call battles how the way they call. When we break this battle down a little bit later, you know, we'll get into both sides and the spectrums. I'm just speaking of that being the elephant in the room on this card early. We're going to get to the battle, but that's how the day started with John John the Don coming out of nowhere dropping this bomb, you know what I'm saying? And a couple niggas, you know, they always be lying on me anyway. And I, this is what I couldn't understand. Mm. So I'm supposed to record easy, give it to John John, and host their event? Like all three of those? Like, please, don't think that much of me. I know you think I'm that, imp- y'all, got, y'all think I'm that important, but I'm not that important. I don't speak to these niggas. They don't be calling me. They don't be feeling me. But I know y'all like to make it seem like I'm that important, but I'm not. You know? Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, some of the same people, they manage artists that's involved with this shit. And I could easily be like, man, I ain't fucking with that nigga. Mm-hmm. I could easily do that, couldn't I? Yep. Could I not? 
Nah, I ain't fucking with him, you know what I'm saying? I'm good, but I still show love. You know why? Because love plus love equals love, even when there's hate involved. So now we can keep it moving. Mm. Bill Collector versus Bad News, what's up? Hey, I thought that battle was really, really good on uh, on Bill Collector's side. It was one of those situations where uh, we was talking about how Bill Collector had just battled on I Battle, but before then, we only remember him for the Sheed situation. So Bad News versus Bill Collector, I need your feel, thoughts, and how you felt about the battle, about Bill's performance, about Bad News. Everything included. What's up, man? I thought the battle itself was really good. Um, if you ask me, this is one of those situations where uh, I felt like Bill Collector was going to be uh, the upper echelon. And I got to say, I was thoroughly impressed with Bill Collector's performance. I was fully invested in that, in the, the bars as far as the, the way he was doing the shit that he was doing. And he was incorporating the funniness. And also because it felt like a home game too, it, it was a definitely an uphill battle for bad news. But what I gotta give shouts to bad news for, he ain't back down now. One of those rounds, man. Every single round he was on him. Some people could sit there and say that maybe the second round, because once I played it back, I was like, ooh, bad news is actually cooking. Um, another thing that I did love about the bad news and the Bill Collector battle was that just didn't feel, I didn't feel like there was any dry spots mm -hmm. up until about Bad News' is third. But, once again, in the building, you really couldn't hear Bad News because he would go down to his voice like this and he would talk to you. And then he got a lot of, like, it's the way that it was working in the building. That's what we was hearing. But once I heard what he was saying, because, you know, when you do that playback, Bad News was definitely cooking, you know what I'm saying? I can understand if you say uh, Bill Collector uh, Gentleman's 30. I can also understand if you're saying uh, Bill Collector 2-1. I'm still going to go with the Bill Collector Gentleman's 30, though. I preferred all his material. What you think about the battle? Uh, I thought coming into it, Bill Collector, who had battled like all year long, you know what I'm saying? He had the sheet joint, he had the eye battle joint. That's not really scratching the surface as far as resume is concerned and being complete in a year. But he has to, because he's got to battle more, you know what I'm saying? And I understand he made the conscious decision to battle in the tournament, not battle on URL, battle here, battle there. He's a really mercurial person at times, you know what I'm saying? You really don't know whether Bill Collector's going to be hot, cold. You don't know where he's going in his career, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he definitely turned up in the trenches, you know what I'm saying? They had a phenomenal performance. I had Riggs with performance of the night up to that point. Yeah. Then I had Bill Collector directly after that. And it was to the point where in like Bill Collector's third round, they was it was just like leave him alone, mm -hmm. leave him alone, yeah. stop. I heard yeah. a lot of stop. It was a lot of stop, yeah. a lot of leave him alone. And here's the deal. I respect bad news and what bad news is able to do. But I just felt like there were certain points in his projection, whether it be in that room or even on camera, I didn't get to watch it over again and I will. Mm -hmm. But I didn't feel like his tone was actually at a level that was adequate enough to to, to bounce off of all of those roles yeah. and rooms in there because it was just, it was a lot going on. It was a warehouse. You got people in back of you arguing, you mm -hmm. got mm -hmm. like, uh, not arguing, but conversations yeah. in back of you, people coming in and out the door, the man in the back, they cleaning up the food, you got mm -hmm. pans and pot. It's a lot of shit going on. So you got to really, 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 really be, have your vocal projection up to a higher level. Right. But all in all, even from what I did here, like I felt like uh, Bill got the first. I edged the second to Bad News, and I gave Bill the third, so I had a uh, close two Wizzy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's um, a, that's a, uh, you got Clone versus Kaboom. I mean, oh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Versus Ines. Clone, clone versus, versus Ines. Ines. I keep. Oh, uh, strange battle, man, because Clone came off of having uh, like some of the battle of the year contenders with uh, Av and with Chef Trez, mm -hmm. and he comes into this battle and. I felt like there were some, Ness had a couple little moments here and there, but for the overall majority of the battle, I had Clone like with the bigger reactions and doing more, so I had Clone winning the battle. I think it was like 2-1. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that, and I can definitely dig it. I don't know, maybe I was just into it the first round from Ness. I clearly had Ness in the first round, mm -hmm. so I thought that he was going to carry that on to the second and the third. Now, because of the acoustics, once again, like you said, it is a warehouse too. So I believe in that situation, there was an argument that turned into a kind of a back and forth scuffle that kind of stopped the, the, the momentum. It is a warehouse. There was a dude all the way at the top. So I know he couldn't hear the way that we was hearing it. And for Clone to have the slow flow that he had, you had to catch it when it was time to catch it. Sometimes I was missing it. But that replay though, that replay, fine wine. I had to definitely do it for the replay clone two one. I did give E that's uh, the the battle in the building, but y'all ch y'all chopped me down in the in the uh, live stream to say hey make sure you get that right. So yes, I was wrong in that uh, in the reaction initially, but yes clone two one second and third. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, easy to block captain, and I had a clone two one. Easy to block captain versus John John Adon is the battle that everybody had wanted to see. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody was talking about John John pretty much uh, found himself in this battle due to the fact that you know what I'm saying him and Easy the block captain had been going back and forth. And I must say before we even start. Mm -hmm. John John kind of got to be thankful for having this battle with Easy the Black Captain because he had just had two bad events that was like back to back. You know what I'm saying? Like boom, bong, bing, bong. You know what I'm saying? So this event kind of like helped smooth things over. Yeah. Because having bullpen versus trenches and an event that was finally successful, like y'all niggas had a couple events this year that was dubs. Let's just be honest with you. Please get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know I'm saying. And to have this event be the culmination of the year, mm. it definitely helps out a lot. John John comes into a hostile environment. Yes, was there gas? Motherfuck, yes, the gas was high. Yes, there was. There was gas in there. But must, what I must say is there was also a rapper's crowd. You said some shit that they liked, they was going to react. They said some shit that they didn't like, they wasn't going to react. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, throughout the night, uh, I will say this another thing. When John John drops audio on Easy, pretty much... Proven everything, disproven or proven, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The shit that a lot of us have been new, not known, because I didn't know, like I wasn't privy to the shit, but you know, premonition. So anyway, mm -hmm. um, he drops this audio. Easy still shows up to the event, host all the battles. That's one thing that I give him props for, because a lot of MCs would have probably been hiding. They would only came out, you know, for their battle. He hosted every motherfucking battle and stood right there through it. Meanwhile, Twitter's yeah. doing what Twitter's doing. The internet, the blogs is doing what they're doing, mm -hmm. and he still had to step in here and have a battle. Uh, what's your initial thoughts on it first and foremost? Um, respect to both the competitors and the owners, or the, the you know the league owners, because they were definitely both there for all of the battles. He stood on the bullpen side, uh, John stood on the bullpen side, and Easy stood on the trenches side. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that audio dropped that morning, so you figured the tensions was high. That's why the joke was made in the morning. Hey, you gonna look at him like that, and 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 the way that it did. Hey, I love it. So when it came to this part, that was the part that I felt like it made it meant the most business. Cause when we went live, uh, uh, before we went live, he, he said, "Listen, we doing ten minutes, then we running this trailer. We about to get this show started." I said, "Oh, I like that energy." We we had to run what we had to do. They was on that stage and ready to fight. Man, oh man, uh, the coin toss went to Easy, the block captain in the first round, so Easy had to start it off, man. I felt that Easy was the most comfortable in the first round, yeah. and I felt like it, it, he was the he was the strongest when it came to those angles and kind of tried to jump ahead of those angles. Um, when you write like that, you could kind of figure out what that person's gonna do. But what Easy also did was I'm gonna just touch, I'm gonna tap on it in the beginning of it, you know, do the it's corny or whatever, blah blah. blah. And went straight to that street shit. Went straight to that trenches shit. Let me tell you something about that sparkling water ball. Oof. Oof. Um, I would say this. He had like a slight blip in the beginning because he tried to freestyle some shit about the editor audio or some shit. Mm. He probably should have went with whatever he had originally. Then he got into the material about the what? Why you always be on my D so much? Mm. And then he starts to get into that. He had that that fire bar of the uh, you know get leave me a right or get left alone with mm. the left alone bar. Uh, he had, and this is just the bars that I remember off the top of my head from being in the building. One thing I must say, their progression, their projection was loud enough to, for me to remember. Mm. I think one of the better lines from both of them in the first round was when he said that Cheesecake Factory bar, that shit was crazy. Mm. Uh, he said, uh, uh, he said, I, I make them leave their habitat and adapt to me, then put them in the car and that a bitch don't want to get out his Cheesecake Factory shit mm -hmm. was crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt like he was flowing in his first round. His first round was one of the better rounds of the whole battle. Mm. John John comes out. You know what I'm saying? His first round. And John John starts like straight to the angling. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like he gets to his angling. He starts dropping his haymakers and his bars. And in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know whether he was going to get to the big, 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 big punches in the first round. But I liked his first round too. How did you feel about his first round? I don't, now, you remember some easy bars? I can remember a couple John from the first. I remember a couple of every I'm, motherfucking bar. I'm just, bars. I'm, just yeah. I'm helping you out. <laughs> I'm about to say, because from, from John John's standpoint, he had a rim block. A uh, bar mm -hmm. that I actually thought that was dope. Like he right. said, you know, it's kind of like uh, one because you get rim blocked. That means you missed the shot. Mm -hmm. That bar, that bar alone. Okay, that 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 kind of was edging it. Not to mention the the tension of once Easy went first, you had to crowd all on Easy side, and John John kind of had to fight back a little bit to get that crowd on his side. Mm -hmm. But by the end of that first round, definitely made it very very close. But 
I think the first round is a little bit easier to understand for me, and I think I gave easy that first round. Uh, first round of the battle, man, is is a crucial round. Mm -hmm. But uh, John John, he had some definitely dope moments in the round. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the, first of all, the first, the whole argument about this battle, there's gonna be people that's gonna pick this battle either way. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? There, there definitely will be. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I think that when you look at it. Whatever you feel like the clearest round is, if you remove that, then you can kind of like judge the battle from there. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of had John John on the, um, you know what I'm saying, when I was watching, because if, if I go every round, you know what I'm saying, I can go mm -hmm. three, two, one, and I have the round that I felt like he won or whatever the case may be. But mm -hmm. after the first round, uh, edge to easy, especially in the building, that's yeah. the thing. In the building and then on footage, you know what I'm saying, I still felt like the best bars, individual bars, in the first round were easy, so that's yeah. just how I felt personally. You know, the, with the first round, it's more like a preference of who you want to give it to. I just felt like the clearer, better material in the first round to me. Just my personal opinion was to easy, so I got easy edge in the first one. Off. What's up with the second? Round? I can agree with you on that one. Uh, the second round, that's where it got a little bit, it got a little bit edgier for me because of the fact that I think I had to give John John that second because he was doing the angling and also jumping back out of it. Mm -hmm. When I uh, the reason why I'm being so light with these bars is because this is one of those battles you might have to rewatch over and over again, and I'm I'm not gonna do a breakdown just yet because of the material versus replay value. I really want y'all to enjoy this battle. But the second round for me, uh, the 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 one that actually pushed it over, he had another <laughs> he had another rim block, and then his scheme within the uh, the thing about John John's schemes too. Is that they are carefully crafted for easy. It's easy to do, you know, because uh, it's uh, uh, got to be easy because life is hard. Stuff like that where it kind of catered towards easy to block cap. I feel like John John was more direct in the first round. I mean, I'm sorry, in the second round. In the second round from easy, he definitely went back to the corner to the corner talk, which is fine. But I just didn't feel like it was as direct in the second round. Mm -hmm. Uh, his second round, easy started flowing again. You know what I'm saying? He had. Yeah, a lot of punches, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, like, he he delivers the bars about the drugs and the things like that. And the thing is, I see people complaining about, oh, he, it's drug, drug, that he's been doing this shit his whole career. So I'm not going to take away from what he's been doing because of who he's in front of now, you know what I'm saying? And this is clearly the best John John that I've seen in easily over a year, you know what I'm saying? He definitely was in there bringing it. He had the line about the August Alcina. You know, you battle raps August Alcina, you know, it's not except the difference. You know, he was saying that you was on the show with Will, mm -hmm. and except your wife is allowed to swing. Mm -hmm. I thought that that shit was fire. Mm -hmm. uh, and he did, he continued to, to not only press the angle, but even in the first round, you know what I'm saying, he was saying, you know, he had the line about, you know, you calling me a cop, please. Now you're trying to cop, please, and you calling, you know what I'm saying? Like, gonna. He, yeah, so he gonna cop, please, you know what I'm saying? So that shit was fire, too. But I'm gonna just keep the battle moving on to the third, and I'll just give my overall opinion of the entire battle, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The third round, to me, I feel like it was one of the easiest, lightest rounds. This is my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Out of all three rounds that I heard, he had dope material in it. Mm -hmm. And then he had, like, there were certain little slick lines that he had in there. Like I said, the right or get left alone mm -hmm. and, and, and shit like that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But in the third round, like, his, he had a, it was a serviceable round. It fit with the material of what was going on in the battle. Mm -hmm. But John John comes out in his third round. He starts having some dope material, and then he goes into the whole cheap raw line, you know what I'm saying? And the crowd just wasn't going for that. I think he tried to get this shit off like three or four times and all throughout his rounds, they was not letting him get that off. What's up? So, for that is why I, I graded that third round the way that I graded that third round. Okay. Because, yes, even though, and I feel like, I felt like that that wasn't Easy's lightest round, but it was a serviceable enough third round that it could be beat, but John John going with the Philly legends. Uh, oh, also in the second round he did this Philly scheme, uh, the, the Philly scheme with the Philly flow into it too. Yeah, that's another reason why I gave John John the second round. But the third round was the uh, he did the he said we going in ch ch uh, never mind. Uh, but he did the Joey Jahad. He named the Reed. He named all of the Philly legends in the scheme. That was dope. But because you not only doubled down, you didn't triple down, but you quadrupled down. 
on the pause worthy line. You should have skipped it. He said, and in the and in the uh, in the playback, he said, oh yeah, they want me to just skip the line. They want me to skip the line. You been making slaves, so you did it on purpose. You did it on purpose, John. And for that, I ain't gonna be petty, be petty, but I prefer easy to block habits third round. So for me, I could give easy the first and second. But I can also, I'm sorry, the first and the third. I can give easy the first and the third, but I can understand why y'all might feel like John John got the second and the third. Mm. Uh, to me, super, super, super debatable battle. Like, I think that John John wins from the perspective of him going into a hostile environment, being able to perform, and not getting smoked, and leaving with a respectable battle. You know goes That's a win. You know what I'm saying? The tie goes to the runner win. Mm -hmm. Debatable preference battle overall. Based off of the material that I heard, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, that when I was there, gas and all, you know what I'm saying, because I can just differentiate from gas. I'm not just going to sit there and be like, oh, I'm enamored by a crowd reaction. That's mm -hmm. not it. Right. But uh, all things considered, I gave Easy the first by an edge. I gave John John the third, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The second to me was one of Easy's best rounds, and mm -hmm. when I removed it, I give Easy the second, so I have Easy winning about the first and second. Okay. By the first, by an edge. The second, and I got John John winning the third clear. Okay. Um, do I feel like this is a battle that's going to move easy stock up or down? No. No. Because based off of having, when you look at the circumstances, first of all, nobody lost. You know what I'm saying? Because when right. you look at it, nobody got the money. Mm -hmm. I think that was some other shit too. Where Talk the fuck is? It. Where's the motherfucker? Talk about it. Where is the money? I asked both. It was 25000 on the floor. I, did you see any money? I on the asked floor? both people where it was at, man. I asked both people where the money was at. Nobody knew where the money was at. It was like, yo, we getting it together right now. We can let that thing happen right now. Nobody had no answers for me. And I believe in the face off, they was like, um, so is it, uh, Uncle Rod asked him, was it going to be money on the floor? He said, no, nah, you'll know who got the money by how they react. <laughs> I, I, I don't see no reaction I, I, I don't on know. both sides. I don't um, know. <laughs> but there is a crowd that John John won crowd. And let me speak for them. What? John John went into a hostile environment. Mm -hmm. You know, he was in a battle that he was the underdog to. He dropped audio early in the day that kind of like you know gave people more of a hope or a wish or premonition. Mm -hmm. He came in there, he delivered three rounds. He didn't choke. He didn't stumble. You know what I'm saying? He had the moment. That was a that the third round glitch <laughs> lasted almost three minutes long. It did. You can't lose a position in a round for three minutes. Because you refuse to go to the next line, but like, but the material can edge that round though. Well, Who's material? For John John, I'm saying. Yes, no, 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 I'm saying because he did when he did get back into it is dope. But I'm saying that that break or whatever the case where they was booing him mm -hmm. and shit, that's just a crunchy vibe for yeah. the whole battle overall. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Now, John John had some of his best rounds in a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there was a bunch of different artists who felt ways about it. I think it was Twerk said Easy won. A bunch of other artists were saying John John mm -hmm. won. Listen, if you cool with John John or you URL, I expect you to say he won because mm. they don't like easy anyway. So I'm right. not expecting anyone to say it. So if uh, you against the system and yeah, all yeah, of that, so you don't want easy. So um, overall, what did you rate the night? Uh, well, I, I, I will say this: I was thoroughly impressed. I wasn't mad. I, I, there was there wasn't anything that made me feel a type of way to not give this rating. I think I could honestly get us a safe rating of a seven and a half, eight. Mm -hmm. I can definitely give it that because everybody delivered, wasn't no no awkward chokes or nothing like that. And as far as our you know our in the building feel, the fans was was showing love. We ain't see a lot of boo birds. I I kind of in uh, in uh, the stream. I think yeah, I gotta get us a solid eight, man. I, and the main event lived up to the hype. It's debatable. It's yeah. an eight, man. Uh, How you call it? Dope event, dope vibe. Fans was dope. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Gritty, gutter, warehouse environment. That's probably why they ain't no bad for me. You know what I'm saying? Because it was in the warehouse. In the and it was cold as shit. Uh, it looked like a scene from Power in that home. Uh, started off like a theme song from Power. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, it's a big so, uh, <laughs> so when you um, when you think about all things considered in a huge battle, it's going to be debatable. Ultimately, the battle is going to be predicated as a debatable. It's two on either way. Even in all of the polls, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the polls that John John do win, I don't have nothing against that because he's the the villain now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you're the anti, mm -hmm. the polls are not, you're not going to be a pop, it's a, polls are a popularity contest. Hold on. Polls are a popularity contest because people pick who they like. Right. If you're not liked, and then let's say the person who doesn't like you retweets it, they're retweeting it because they know that you don't like this person, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot of people voting on polls who didn't even see the fucking battle, you know what I'm saying? But it was also, speaking of other, other polls, 
it wasn't one sided. No, it's 45, 55, 55, 63. You know what I'm saying? Like 63, 56. It's close. That feel like a two one either way to me. So I don't don't know how how y'all can get out of this one. I say watch the battle yourself. Cop the pay per view. Yeah. And also watch the commentary too, you know what I'm saying? We in it. They put a little smidgen in the mm-hmm. picture, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They put a little smidgen in the picture. And that commentary might not make it out once they would release the battle. They right. trim that off. But, but yeah. um salute to uh, the trenches, salute to Bullpen, uh salute to John John Adon for, for showing up and having a, a performance. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's a lot of folks who feel like he won that battle and yeah. I'm not tripping off of it. He also did get a cheesesteak from Max oh, last yeah. night. I can confirm. He was we was in the bit we was in there. He came in right after us. Right, so, right, you know what I mean? So right. he went and got a right cheese stick. Always a good thing. <laughs> uh, salute to everybody who watches this content. You know what I'm saying? We definitely wanted to uh, hit up the trenches, show love there, and salute to all of the leagues, you know what I'm saying, for putting on 2023. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, performers of the night, Bill Collector, yeah. you know, Riggs, was, Riggs had another breakout performance. And I keep saying about Riggs, I'm like, yo, the more that he continues to find himself, you know, know what he's good at and know what he wants to do because everybody's not good for every league. He was on he was on URL for a little bit of time and it didn't work out. Mm. But as he continues to find himself and mold and build and grow, he should be straight. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And we'll see what he brings in 2024. Yeah, man. Mm. So, you yeah. know. As far as that goes, happy holidays and happy New Year. We'll see you before. Game. Okay. Mm. Good. Yeah. I had to get that shit out of